Welcome to a sunny but full Vancouver log. Just a couple pickups and updates with what's going on. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Ice. We're in the Vancouver log. We are based in Vancouver, in the Metro Vancouver, and we're just living life, uh, talking about tech, uh, taking photos. Other things as well is that I really enjoyed creating the Toronto log. That was such a fun thing to do. Right now, I am editing one of the Vancouver logs, but I just wanted to to see what kind of input or what kind of kind what kind of content you guys are interested in seeing, uh, just comment down below what you want to see. Um, if it's more lifestyle, fashion, also with regards to the Instagram, just a yeah, update. We we just hit eleven thousand today, and it's so crazy. I was talking about this uh, Instagram account like ten Vancouver logs ago, and we were just at fifty, and now we're at eleven thousand. As always, the creator's recipe, uh, I talk about my growth on Instagram over there. And then, yeah. Other things with regards to the digital business, all the links are down below. Now, what is in this box right here? This box is gonna be part of another video as well, which would be the mystery camera unboxing. These are all film, film cameras that are either working or not. So I'm just gonna unbox them and show you guys Vancouver Log first um, what con what's in this box. And then I'm gonna make a whole video on testing all of these because this is gonna take some time. So when you do buy film cameras that are not tested, um, there's always that risk that they might not work. But should they work and you test them, you can actually charge quite a bit more because you put in a roll of film to test. Um, the main reason why I bought this, whoa, the main reason why I bought this was because I have a Ricoh AF 60 something camera over there. It works, but the battery door isn't really um, it's a good battery door. So I wanted to replace it with this, but if this one works, then might as well use this one since it's working, but I'll unbox it for you guys right now. If I look nerdy right now with my glasses my bad <laughs> so we're gonna open it for you interesting choice of box for <laughs> this uh camera lot but you gave me a sketchers Give you guys an unboxing experience. Okay. okay. Now I will be testing the. Oh, not bad. So he packaged almost everything properly. So that's good. I respect this guy. And there's cases for some of these. Wow. Message on your phone from Hong Sun Leader. So, so interesting. Oh. Interesting. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five cameras. And if I can get two or three to work, then this would have been a worthwhile uh, purchase. It was like 80 bucks Canadian. But let's look for the one I want the most. Oh, this one also comes with a case. That's crazy. So it comes with a case too. Looks like a clean, it's a clean case. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> nope, this isn't the one. Oh, they come, most of them come with cases. That's cool. But anyways, I am going to try out some of these. 
So what we have here is the Meta Ray-Ban smart glasses that we're going to be unboxing. Just a sec. So this is the Meta Ray-Ban. Meta Ray-Ban Wayfarers has the glasses, charging case, cleaning cloth, the whole nine. So the thing is, I'm actually gonna put my um, actual glasses on these, um, actual prescription glasses, and get them replaced. But for now, I'm just gonna see how they look. Listen, call, live stream. We're gonna get some detailed shots though. So, this is how it comes. The unpacking experience. There. I'm wondering what this is. You have a microfiber cleaning cloth. Instructionals and all this good stuff. But let's get to the actual, actual Ray-Ban case. Ooh. Let's feel how pretty heavy duty. Pretty heavy, to be honest. But unboxing, you guys get the first. First try on. Oh, damn. I just need my, uh, if I could just add my prescription to this and we'll all be good but i wonder if it works right now hey meta nah it doesn't work yet but this is the transition green ones setting up the meta on the meta app but Other update as well, um, maybe from the last log, was the unboxing of the XS20. But now I'm using it a lot and it's so compact. I brought it to Stanley Park, I brought it to the Vancouver Aquarium, and it's just such a fun uh, camera to use. I also just came back from my citizenship ceremony. So that was very fun. I'm gonna put some footage up in the screen right now and I'm gonna make a whole video, a, long, a lengthier video on my immigration journey to Canada specifically. 
uh, what went into it, what, you know, just like the stuff that people want to know. Uh, if you are considering trying to move, for example, to Canada, specifically the Vancouver area, because I've been here in the metro for a bit, not specifically in Vancouver, but I've been going in and out of, of Vancouver for a while now. Guys, currently I'm just finishing up client um, posts for Instagram. So we're just cooking up um, a carousel so that it looks pretty decent or at least very quality. Like, I'm not sure if I can show this right now, but I'm doing um, how I usually do my my carousels, which is um, putting, you know, like a combination, like a like a collage type of um, carousel, but that's what I'm doing right now. It's Thursday morning. Got already one, two, three, four, five tasks done. I have one, two, three, three left on here. Um, I need to get a job posting for an editor position done today, and then post that, and then just get ready to interview. A video editor but once I get a video editor it's gonna be pretty streamlined now it's gonna be easier and it's gonna get easier over time so that's what I have going on this Thursday um, need to catch up on the Vancouver log and also the creators recipe I am trying to be two weeks in advance for the creators recipe newsletter but I'm also trying to make up for the content um, with regards the video content with regards to the creators recipe and then Make the Vancouver log. Girl, every time I close my eyes, I see your smile. 